Let's talk about The Lighthouse. Okay. Uh, I saw this film and I was blown away by it. Andy, you saw the film yeah, as well. Yeah, it's amazing. It's, a, it's an yeah. amazing film and uh, it is uh, generating, I don't know if you're one of the, the kind of person that doesn't like to hear this, but it is generating a lot of Oscar buzz. Does that make you nervous when you hear that? Or? Sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> That's great, because over the years, some people have been like, don't say that, it's a jinx, and you're yeah. just like, bring it on. No, no, I'm okay. Yeah. Well, also, it's a small movie, so it's important that it gets out there, so whatever recognition it gets helps for people to be aware of it. Yeah, yeah, it's absolutely, uh, I've not seen a, a film like this. Uh, it is, and without giving away too much, because I don't want to give away too much, but it's very simply a story about two guys who are stranded pretty much at a lighthouse, 1890s, uh, in the Northeast on this craggy coast, and it looks miserable, it, like a miserable location. Yeah. I, 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 because I'll tell you, uh, I was fortunate enough to talk to the great Michael Caine a number of years ago, and he was telling me that he, he would choose a movie based on uh, the description of like, oh, if it's in the south of France, I'll shoot the movie. You know what I mean? Okay. If it takes place on a tropical beach, I'll shoot the movie. This is like you have the opposite <laughs> philosophy. You're shooting this on a craggy rock yeah. in what looks like the least pleasant weather, waves crashing, yeah, yeah, yeah. seaweed, slime. Why? <laughs> <laughs> it's all there, you don't have to act. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know, when yeah. you're cold, you're cold. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. That's a good point. No, the, so, because you do a great job of looking truly wet and miserable, and I think there that we caused, go. This caused, <laughs> you were wet and miserable. Yeah. No, was it I, that stormy? I mean, first of all, no, the, the, it was. We enhanced it sometimes. Like yeah. they have things that uh, water cannons that are these big things that throw this a huge amount of water at you. It was pretty miserable. Yeah. But it's part of it. I mean, uh, jo all joking aside. Yeah. Um, you know, the weather was a big part of it because it's really these two guys in the elements. Yeah. And you are, what, what is interesting about it too is that I think we've all been in situations where we've had a roommate that made us a little uh, crazy. Yeah. There's a, there's a part of this film that's, uh, that is very relatable where you're two guys that are quite different and you've got to share this space together. And you're stuck there. And you're stuck there and you just see the two of you grappling with there is nowhere to go we're, you know, uh, this is, and, and, and the madness that ensues. Yeah, but I think people see it many different, they project many different things, you know, they project all of their relationships on it, whether it's a boss, employee, father, son, lovers even. Yeah. Um, you know, there's all... That's a grim portrait of marriage, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> this is why my wife and I, have, one summer we rented a lighthouse together. <laughs> it didn't work out well, and hence the movie. It was the basis of the movie. Uh, there is such... Uh, your character is this great old sea salt. Right. Uh, and it's 18... Late 18... Uh, it's 1890. 90. And he's this great sea salt, and one of the things he does is he est his job is to establish dominance. He's the guy running the lighthouse. Robert Pattinson shows up, so he's got to show dominance yeah. right away. And you've got all these <laughs> some great, some kind of crass ways of establishing dominance over his character. Like he's the newbie, and you're the guy who really runs. That's things. right. And you're talking about me corralling him with farts. <laughs> It's in no, the that's, not, that's not where I was going. Uh, <laughs> but you do oh. bring it. No, no. I, it, 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 <laughs> well, it is true. That's, <laughs> there are a lot of different ways that you establish dominance, but that is one of the things your character does <laughs> right away to Robert Pattinson's character, which is your way of saying, <laughs> I run things around here. Yeah. It was in the script. Not my idea. <laughs> I'm just submitting to the director's will. <laughs> But it was the your next question is yeah, yeah, whether yeah, it's yeah. improvised or not. Yeah, yeah. Right? No, no, no. No, no, now, that's they, not. Now, do they teach you how to fart on command at Juilliard? <laughs> no, I don't know how to do that. Oh, all right, all right. <laughs> that's one of not the here. worst things not that here. they It's that and clowning. Like, you got to juggle, <laughs> fart on command. Uh, you have these incredible speeches. I mean, yes. one of the reasons I think there's just been... Uh, you, you always give a great performance, and there are times where the camera is, is right up in your face, mm -hmm. and you are giving this incredible performance, and these speeches uh, where you can... Your insults, you have these, these great 1890s sort of New England, and they seem so authentic, 
sort of sea captain insults that just it, seem to beautiful. come. Yeah. It's beautiful writing, and it's uh, you know it's rare that in a film you get poetic. Uh, uh, you know, elevated language yes, like yeah. that. And it was built very much from drawing things from Melville and Milton and, and also, uh, you know, various sources of literature at yes. the time. Yeah. So it's kind of stitched together, but there's some beautiful expressions. And what's nice is it's so colorful to work on because it's got such vivid imageries, uh, images. And then when I'm, you know, trying to humiliate him or dominate him or whatever's going on, yeah. it's, it's very specific. Yeah, it's, it, it's much more powerful than you know, kind of flat naturalistic language. There's a there's a there's a, a, a time, there's a moment where you you say you're insulting him and you tell him that you smell like a curdled foreskin and you. <laughs> I wrote that one down. I'm like, I've got to remember that if I'm ever angry, you know. Thanks for the image. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait a minute. No, it's in your movie. <laughs> you said it. Yeah, but I left it behind. You okay. brought it up again. No, I couldn't stop thinking about it. Uh, there's another one. Make the light. You, you're telling him to clean up the White House. The, the, light, the White House. Oh. <laughs> we're, we're doing the best we can. <laughs> Give it time. Wait. Give it time. Wait. Freud would have a field day with what just happened. <laughs> Uh, you say you want him to clean up the lighthouse, and you say, make the lighthouse sparkle like a sperm whale's pecker. And you're like, <laughs> it's fantastic. It's really fantastic language. Just amazing, amazing writing. Also, yeah. some zoological information I did not know. <laughs> <laughs>